January 4th, an upside down world, sure KSM 27. While we're in this valley of tears, cursed with labour, hemmed around with necessities, tripped up with frustrations, doomed to perpetual plannings, puzzlings and anxieties, certain qualities that must belong to the celestial condition have no chance to get through, can project no image of themselves except in activities which, for us here and now, are frivolous. For surely we must suppose the life of the blessed to be an end in itself. Indeed, the end. To be utterly spontaneous, to be the complete reconciliation of boundless freedom with order. With the most delicately adjusted, supple, intricate and beautiful order. How can you find any image of this in the serious activities either of our natural or of our present spiritual life? either in our precarious and heartbroken affections, or in the way, which is always in some degree a via crucis. No, it's only in our hours off, only in our moments of permitted festivity, that we find an analogy. Dance and game are frivolous, unimportant down here, for down here is not their natural place. Here they are a moment's rest from the life we are placed here to live. But in this world, everything is upside down. That which, if it could be prolonged here, would be truancy, is likest that which in a better country is the end of all ends. Joy is the serious business of heaven.